Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Java program that will find the reverse of a string. We are creating a new Java class which is named as reverse string and the program logic is written directly inside the main method of reverse string class. A scanner object has been created to read the data from the user. By using system.out.print, we display the message to enter a string. A string can be accepted from the user by using the next method of the scanner class. So we call the next method by using the scanner object which we have already created which is sc. Next method will read the data in the form of string and we store the string in the variable st. To convert the string into the reverse we want to calculate the reverse so we have a string buffer class. String buffer is a thread safe mutable sequence of characters. A string buffer is like a string but it can be modified. It contains some particular sequence of characters but the length and content of sequence can be changed through function calls. So here we are using a function which is named as reverse which will cause the character sequence to be replaced by the reverse sequence. So reverse method will convert the entire characters in the reverse order. And it returns the result in the form of string buffer. Now the string buffer can be returned back to a string by using the method toString. toString will return the string representation of the data sequence. So first in the program we have convert our string into string buffer. So string buffer object is sb. The string st will get converted into a string buffer. By using the string buffer object, we call the method reverse called sb.reverse. So it will find the reverse and the reverse will be in the form of a string buffer which can get converted back into a string by calling the method toString. So the entire result which will come in the form of reverse of a string and that will get stored into a string variable rev. And the reverse can be printed by using system.out.println. We can compare the original string and the current string both are the same or not by using the equals method or equals ignore case. So equals ignore case will compare the string without considering the case either capital or small letter. If both are same we can display that it is a palindrome because if the reverse and the original string are same we can say that the string is a palindrome otherwise it is not a palindrome. So equals ignore case or equals method is a method of a string class that can be used to compare whether two strings are equal or not. Equals ignore case will compare the string without considering the case. Execute and see the program output. Thank you for watching this video.